just check it out. Let's check it out. Make sure we're live. Hi everyone. This is Chicho. This is uh, an unannounced live stream. And uh, let me pop out the chat here. Pop out. Pop out. Pop out. And today is August 16th. Okay. I don't think anyone expecting this stream to come uh, because we just finished the whole uh, set of streams for the last uh, week. We did three streams and uh, we did liqueur, we made blackberry jam, we made uh, applesauce, and the week before we made tons of plum, <laughs> plum, plum stuff. And I mentioned that it was gonna the next streams were gonna be next week towards the end of next week or i guess yeah basically towards the end of next week however we got a little care package uh saying germany how are you doing how's the life this is going to be a quick stream by the way germany uh, this is sort of a unannounced live stream and uh, someone wanted to uh, contacted me like over a year ago I'm fine, thanks. Awesome, awesome. You guys are, what time is it there right now? Oh, it's a good time right now. It's like 9.30 for you guys, I think. 9.30 or 10.30. I think 9.30, maybe 10.30. Uh, evening, Friday evening. That's not bad. Um, basically, over a year ago, um, a couple of people contacted me. Actually, more than a couple of people over the last few years contacted me, telling me that they want to send me some gifts and stuff like this. I'm reading a book now for the last few days. Nice. Which book? What are you reading? I hope it's not something crazy. Forget about politics and economics. I hope reading you're reading nice sci-fi or something along those lines to escape this chaos that we have in this world. <laughs> right. um, just to let you know what's going on. Okay, you know what? I should give everyone a little bit of time. Nicholas, how you doing? Hey, Chicho, still haven't sent the, the funds, bro. Paul, no worries. Guess what? <laughs> We'll get around to it this coming, incoming week. Work has me run ragged at the moment. Yeah, for some reason, I've been really busy too. Um, I think uh, for me anyway, the, it became really busy once I started listing stuff on eBay. I didn't realize how much it, uh, like buying on eBay is easy. You press a button, you buy it, and the person ships it. People are sending the call. And it's become way more complicated than when I was originally selling back in the early 2000s. Greetings from the great city of London. Greetings, Starsky. How are you doing? Is that comics? It is comics, Nicholas. <laughs> so this is going to be a quick stream, by the way. This is going to be Speedy Gonzalez style, right? Uh, so uh, basically uh, what happened was over the last few years, I've had some people tell me, woohoo. <laughs> it's called the God Game and claims to describe illuminate. Illuminism. Is this uh, Illuminati stuff? Conspiracy stuff, uh, Germany? Chicho has been caught going speeding on Sounds a lot. Did I say it again? <laughs> Greetings from the dark city of Haparanda. Hap Sweden. Haparanda. 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 Oh, I don't. That's the first time I've heard about Haparanda. Greetings to everyone from Victoria, British Columbia. Canada. <laughs> so over the last few years, I've had some people tell me that they want to send me sort of care packages, thank you gifts and stuff like this. And there was a period, there was a few months that I got a PO box and uh, someone was going to send me something, but the shipping was insane, right? It's crazy. Um, and then I killed the PO box, but I had more people tell me they want to send me stuff. And one person had been telling me, uh, it's Illuminati stuff but claims to promote and support Illuminati worldview, hence Illuminism. Oh, really? That'd be an interesting read. I like that kind of stuff, actually. I really do. There's some stuff coming out in the comic book realm regarding Illuminati conspiracies and stuff like this. And they're, the comic books are sought after. Like, they're being released by independent people. And then the prices and in the aftermarket, because not too many people are ordering them initially the prices in the aftermarket are like you know the original price is like five bucks or four bucks or whatever it is aftermarket is going for like 20 30 40 right 
books, any recommendations for personal development or philosophical types? Um, you know what? I really haven't read uh, in one book uh, is this. This is, I think, one of the first books I read sort of along those lines. I don't know if it fits into that category, but it's C.S. Lewis. I've shown this before. C.S. Lewis, Fern Seed and Elephants. Okay. I read this in high school and it really kicked me because of thoughts that you're presenting in high school are very rudimentary, basic, uh, childish. This was not. C.S. Lewis has in-depth arguments. And so this I really like. Uh, it was fantastic. Uh, but I hadn't read too many self-development stuff. Uh, you will like it. It says the only certain thing to know is mathematics. Awesome. I will love it. <laughs> Germany. It's a lot about Lebens. Hegel. Yeah, Pythagorean. Really? Um, what it is it called? Can you uh, post this name on Discord, Germany? Uh, if it's math-centric, I'll, uh, I'll check out some reviews on it and read uh, some excerpts from it, see if I want to grab it. Or, I, you know, grab it and at least have it on the bookshelf and at some point. Uh, and that's what I do. I buy books if I find them interesting, if I can afford them at the time. Have it in my bookshelves. Uh, there's a few of them. Uh, and every now and then I walk through if I'm looking for something to read and I pick one and that I haven't read and read it, right? That would be fantastic. Uh, getting to this, basically... Uh, one of the people that contacted me a couple of years ago asking me, you know, hey, Chicho, can I send you something? And I didn't have a PO box at the time. And, um, I said, sure, uh, you know, I don't have a PO box. You know, if it's no rush, can you hold off on it? It's uh, five euros at Amazon Kindle. I put it in Discord. Awesome. Thank you very much, Germany. Um, and finally, I ended up, because I was doing the eBay stuff, I needed a PO box. I needed an address to put on the packages I was sending. So I went to the post office and got my box on uh, myself a PO box thing and I contacted the person. I said, listen, I don't know if it's still going or not, um, but I ended up getting a PO box and he sent me the care package. And he said there was gonna be, like he was gonna send more, but the shipping to Canada is insane, right? It's not worth it to ship certain types of stuff because they're, the price is just too high for shipping. Uh, the person can get the stuff in their area a lot cheaper or they buy whatever. But he said he put some stuff here that he thought I might like, right? It's, it's this thing. So let's crack this open, okay? And uh, see what we got as a care package. <laughs> Am I nervous to open this thing up? <laughs> sort of. Chicho, can you check your microphone levels when you uh, record, please? Sound is coming through fine on Twitch, but most of the time I listen on YouTube. The YouTube ones come across with extremely low audio. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, I have to listen in my car with the volume all the way up. And if there's a there's a pot clang during it, yeah, I know. Cook, it damn near blows my speakers in here. Oh, I'm so sorry about that double, uh, double O negative. Um, in, at some point, because I've lost a hard drive right um, I'm next week I'm gonna start I'm gonna contact some people I might talk to people on discord I have the mic set up here by the way uh, I might talk to people on discord uh, to see what we need to build a computer uh, editing computer that's gonna last me another seven years okay and process the stuff faster um, as for the gain on this, I'm going to kick this up a little bit, okay? Pop, 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 pop. Uh, I know the, the stuff being loaded on YouTube might be a little bit low volume, but that might be due to YouTube. Uh, YouTube's been doing wacko stuff. It, it's the only way I can say it. I, I don't want to uh, go into speculation on that, right? Here, let me move my chair a little bit further over. Let's crack this open. I'll, I'll try to get a better system set up in the next upgrade, uh, double O negative. I don't know when that's going to be. I gotta get the funds together. It's gonna cost a fair bit. And I have a friend, I have a couple of friends here that 
run a live streaming company. So I have to talk to them to see what it's going to take to get the hardware and software that I need to kick these live streams up a notch with the mics and stuff like this and get the equipment we need to possibly start doing podcasts. Okay. And then also the recording stuff. I, I want to really want to get back into the recording stuff hardcore specifically uh, for the math, uh, the ASMR math stuff and the other math stuff. I'm doing a little writing in the background uh, to start putting our first module together. More on this later. Okay, let's take a look at comic books. I don't know what's in here. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. I just like comic books. So whatever it is, it's awesome. No, no way. It can't be this. What the? No way. Get lost. Are you kidding me? send me this I gotta look at the it's just a paper I'm reading uh, I'm reading what this is supposed to be he, what no way man <laughs> I'm scared to pull it out seriously No way. What the? Okay, packaged up nicely. Phenomenal. No, no, it's not that. Maybe. No, it's not that. Oh, nice, nice, nice. <laughs> okay, you freaked me out. I thought it was... Nice, look at these. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, let me show you these, let me show you these. I f freaked out a little bit, dude. Uh, because this thing, like, let me tell you what this this said. Because it, um, it had written, <laughs> right? So it's not this. It's not this. Because I'm like, no way. It can't be. Like, you can't. You can't send me that. That's too much, man. Um, in here, it's uh, it's an auction. The paper. It said it was Incredible Hulk number one, CGC 0.5 uh, pour, which ridiculous places, thousands of dollars, right? <laughs> so I was like, what? <laughs> it was, yeah, I got a little bit freaked out there, which I'm glad. Like, that's, that's a little too much. That would be overwhelming. So let me show you what, I, what we got, what we got. Excited, is it? And I don't care package instead of a care package. 
That's funny. No, it's a care package, man. It's fantastic. I'm on the edge of my seat, your bro. <laughs> Chicho is chat working for yeah chat is working for me Nicholas I just wasn't read, reading the chat uh, thanks bro uh, a Chicho podcast would be awesome you're one of the few who can trigger my SMR and it's usually your voice what does it okay awesome that one. so let me show you this this is fantastic these are great comics so let, let's let's go through this there is there is uh, six comic books here okay from DC, from Marvel, from Charlton. Okay, so let me show you this. Let me organize these. And they're romance comics. I hope chat is working for you guys. Is chat working for you guys? I hope we're still live streaming. Are we still live streaming? Yeah, we're still live streaming. Fun. And let me, let me tell you what the paper was on this. The paper that was included in this, um, and man, he, fantastic. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was a, you know, someone did this purchase, right? Incredible Hulk number one, uh, CGC graded at the point. So we know the price of what Incredible Hulk number one, CGC graded at 0. 0.5, which is poor, goes for, which is like over $3,000, right? So I was like, oh my God, what? No, 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 that's too much, that's too much. Let me show you these guys. Did you get rolled, man? No, I didn't get rolled, man. This is fantastic. Take a look at this. This is some of the stuff that I've been collecting, I've been buying over the last, uh, I guess, last four or five years. I started getting into the gold, silver, and bronze age romance comics, right? And you would have seen them. So these are priced at um, 20, 25 cents. So these are uh, uh, bronze age books okay they'd be a late 60s early 70s and they're beautiful uh, this is uh, how do we dare how do we rate men young love number 93 and this looks like uh, John Romita jr. Uh, or sorry John Romita senior take a look at this beautiful it's a nice copy right yeah, the romance read throughs. Yeah, I love these things, man. I, I don't, I don't know why I didn't start collecting them earlier. So thank you. I won't give names. Okay. Hopefully they'll. If I'm pretty sure they're not watching this live, but we'll load this video on Bitchute and YouTube, probably either Monday or Tuesday. Most likely Tuesday. Okay. I'm just gonna be really busy for the next, for the weekend. Okay, looks incredible. It's beautiful. I'm pretty sure this is uh, John Romita. Uh, we could do a search on it right now. Should we do it? Let's do a search on this. Nice. This is what I love doing as well, is uh, checking out. So apologies if I can't see the chat coming up. Young Love number 93. Okay, let's see who the artists are for this and the writers. Young Love number 93. Let's see who this is. Awesome. I'm live streaming, so this might be a little slow. This item, oh, what? It doesn't. Da, 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 da. Story by unknown, art by unknown, right? Although Jerry is a pop, is popular with all the other girls, Janet. So this says they don't know. Uh, I'm going to my comic shop right now, and it says they don't know. And this thing came out in 1972. Okay. And it's a, it's a nice copy. This is a high mid grade copy. Man, I just popped and I really got to go to bed now. Happy for you, teacher. Thank you, Nikki. Uh, what a nice gesture. Good night, info. Good night. Good night, Nikki. So take a look at this. Let me make sure I got this in the, in the, in the screen. So that's beautiful, right? Beautiful. An unknown. This has got to be beautiful. What does it say? Buy me that guy. A two-part novel complete with this issue. I love him. Was he really perfect for me? He's back again, girls. Wild as ever. Mark on the man's side. What? <laughs> oh, wow. Some roommate you've got. She's playing up 
to your boyfriend. Oh, look at this. Oh, and these romance comics have a lot of tears. There's a little tear coming off this girl. Right? And I introduce them. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, hey, good evening, Chicho. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Doing very well, Loki. Doing very well. So, Young Love number 93. Okay, we got this guy. Fantastic. Let me put this here. We got Young Love number 91. Ooh, look at this one. He's back. Mark. Who is this Mark? <laughs> Mark is back again. <laughs> and this is a great copy as well. This is, again, mid, uh, mid high grade. Mid grade, around six or seven. Uh, I would have to flip through it, but this is fine, right? It's, it's pretty good condition, man. It's pretty good condition. Take a look. And he's got these in Mylar bags, too. So that's fantastic. He's the, the person that sent these is a collector. It's definitely a pretty serious collector. Okay. Fantastic. And look at the back cover, right? Look at that. Wigs fall, falls and curls. <laughs> nice. Rhodes. Hello, Chicho. Is there a schedule for stream topics? Or is, is it just a, this is a random. Uh, someone sent me sort of a care package, a gift of comic books, and we'll get ourselves. I'm just going through them. Man, these would be so fun to hang up on the walls at home. Yeah, for sure. I got a set of romance comics hanging on my walls. You would have seen it during the Mint uh, videos. Okay. And this is great. Who's this by? Let's see if we, we'll, we'll see if we can find out who this one is by. So this is Young Love number 91. Let me go to here. See if we can find out who this is by. The artwork for these are phenomenal. Some of the great, uh, the great artists and comic book creators of all time have worked on romance comics. So cover is by Don Heck, story by unknown, art by Art Saf, Gene Col Colon, which is phenomenal, Vince Colita. Wow, wow, wow. Awesome, awesome. This is great. Let me show it to you again. Let me pop, bring the chat over. I bought some Scrooge McDuck comics to hang because I love the art style. Yeah, Scrooge McDuck is amazing. Take a look at this. Right? It's, it's beautiful. Catch a falling star. Put yourself in the, what does that say? In the hands, in, in my hands, baby. And I'll make you a star. That's what, that's what he told the last girl, poor kid. Oh no, I hope Lisa doesn't fall for his line. I hope so too. I hope so too. Like that. Beautiful, right? Let's take a look at this one. Our love. Number 16, Marvel. Actually, uh, John Romita did uh, a lot of the romance for Marvel comics, not, uh, this is beautiful cover. Look at that. Like, wow. What a phenomenal cover. My song, my song and my sorrow. Right. Beautiful. At some point, I'm going to put all my comics in these types of bags. I need to buy in bulk. <laughs> right. Look at this thing. Let's find out who this is by. This is part of the fun of uh, the comic book halls, right? Or buying comic books, trying to figure out love story. Number 16. Let's see who this is. Our love story. Come on. Oop. Oops. No, went too far. Our love story art by John Boshima inks by Joe Senat wow 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 that's fantastic take a look uh, the cover yeah the cover is John Boshima script is by Stan Lee the pencils uh, is by John Boshima and the ink slave is by Joe Sonnet right fantastic 
And there's a couple of stories by other people as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right? Let me show it to you. Look at that. Beautiful. Right? I've ordered a Batman anthology on August 13th. Still waiting for it to arrive. I'm new to comics. Which anthology? Like, what stories does it have? Time for Love. Look at this one. Charlton Comics. Time for Love number 28. Nice. Awesome, awesome. Let's check this one out. Time for Love. Let's punch it in. Time for Love number 28. Time for love number 28. Cover by Jose Luis Garcia Lopez, and we've got work by Jose uh, uh, Lopez, right? Garcia Lopez. Uh, art by Jose Luis Garcia Lopez, Charles, uh, Charles Nicholas, and Vince Alicia. Right? Beautiful. Hopefully I got this in the panel. Take a look. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. For my sake, darling. What does it say? I wanted wealth at any price. I didn't realize that it caught it would cost Wade's love. Free pinup poster of Sher uh, Shirley Jones. That's cool. Lots of little actions, right? Oh, so I gotta allow that. Auto mod prevented something to be typed in. Intelligent Blueberry, how are you doing? Who well, has the first Batman DC comic, but he scrapped it. Uh, as he didn't realize its value in the future. Oh no, what? Time for love number 30. Chicho, tomorrow is my official moving day. All oh, right on, Blueberry. You, you're coming to Canada, right? You're coming to, uh, uh, what do you call it? I think you're going to Ontario. Time for love number 30. Let's check it out. Time for love number 30. Let me show you this. Art by Martinez, stories by unknown. Uh, so art by Martinez and Jean Ellier. I don't know Jean Ellier. Contents. Oops, let me make sure you're seeing this. It says, uh, so Bo uh, Batman anthology, Bob Kane, Zesher, Bob Kane, Carmen Infantino, Dick Sprang, Greg Capallo, Author Bill Finger, nice. It, so this is, you're getting an anthology from the golden age of uh, Batman, golden early silver age. And Scott Snyder, okay, so more recent as well. It's 20 stories with 372 pages. So the anthology you're getting, uh, St. Saint, uh, Germany, is uh, spans from basically the golden age of comics into the present modern age of comics. It should be an interesting read. You'll, you'll see the old, old Golden Age comics. They don't really, uh, the stories don't hold up that well, right? They're very, they're wacko to say the least. But the essence is there, right? Yes, sir. Yes, Toronto. Hope the move goes well tomorrow. Oof, oof, oof. Hopefully you've already sent your stuff uh, through, uh, look at this ki kiss. Look at that kiss. Awesome. You're getting a lot of glare from the bags. Katsuo, how are you doing? Teenage Love. Check this out. This one is fantastic condition. And these guys, these two are higher, higher grade. I should have told you the grades on these. The Charlton books? The Charlton books are At least a seven and a half or an eight okay 
this one. Hard love. This is at least a seven and a half. Eight. At least beautiful books. Beautiful books. Awesome. Awesome. I've only picked one big baggage and one care. Awesome blueberry. That's the best way to travel. And let me show you this one. Teenage Love, number 88. The Golden Age Teenage Romance Comics go for crazy amounts. So Teenage Love, number 88. Let's check out who this is. Teenage Love, number 88. Let me type this in. Teenage Teenage Love, number 88. Boop. Let's see if it pops up. There it is. Contents. Uh, romance. Jack Abel. That's cool. Charles Nicholas signed. Uh, so cover is Jack Abel. It's a beautiful cover. Uh, Charles Nicholas is uh, one of the stories. Uh, Vince Alicia uh, is a... Uh, the artist for one of them and then ben brown writer script there's a whole bunch of people working on this that's cool that's cool that's some really nostalgic artwork the style is really cool yeah fantastic these romance comics really i cannot believe i was younger right i was into more of the superhero stuff and the underground stuff but i didn't get into the romance comics until again the last five five six years or so the rest I just intend to buy at a Marshalls or something. Yeah, for sure, Blueberry. And there's people in my area, the 31st and the 1st, there's a lot of stuff being put outside where people are moving. How old are these? All, all are these? these are gonna be, most of them are from the 1970s. Uh, yeah, most of these are gonna be from the 1970s. So this one's from 1972, okay. Uh, the previous one was, uh, 19 1971 72 again okay uh the previous one was from 1972 actually they all look like they're all from 1972 1972 the previous one 1972 perfect he sent them all from the same eight, fr from the same year which is fantastic 1972 as well and the first one what was the first one the first one 1972 so they're all from 1972 fantastic right like if you see some of my comic book hauls i have a whole bunch of six ec comics framed in a big frame and they're all from 1952 right so all of these are from 1972 martin how you doing why do they go for so much uh the golden age of romance comics because the stories were put out before the censorship kicked in. So they're very uh, on the edge, right? They have romances between adult men and women and teenage boys and girls, right? So, you know, it's it's a little sketchy, but I, I don't think I have any of those because they go for hundreds, right? And if they're in mint condition, like close to mint, they go for thousands. Like they're hard to come by. And one of the reasons is Matt Baker, okay? The Matt Baker did some amazing, amazing um, bad girl comics. And I believe he did some romance comics. And Matt Baker was um, Index, how are you doing? <laughs> Matt Baker was the first uh, black American uh, comic book artist. Uh, I, from what I understand, he was the first one that worked in the industry. And his art style is amazing. Like, look up Matt Baker. And the books he puts out go for a fair chunk. Especially the bad girl stuff and the romance stuff. And there's some amazing artists that worked on these. Okay. Beautiful cover. And again, this is fairly high grade. This would be 7.5 or so. Okay. Very cool very cool chicho what was considered golden age of comics and also what is considered the uh, diamond platinum level comic uh, golden age of comics went from 1938 from action comics number one i believe starts in 1938 
up to 1956 okay that's before this this thing kicked in the comic code authority kicked in so basically any old comic books that you buy that don't have this emblem on there where it says approved by the comic code authority they're going to be from the golden age of comics and there is a um, what's the age before that uh, called um, platinum age is it called a platinum age i can't remember if it's called a platinum age um, and there are comic books pre-action comics number one but i believe action comics number one is the official start of the golden age of comics okay out of all these covers like this one they're all beautiful but these two are amazing here let me show you i really love this one where the girl's singing take a look here i'll show you this one first this one's beautiful as well i love the style where it's uh one girl's going oh i introduced them and her boyfriend's with someone else and stuff like this atomic age is called atomic age sorry welcome to the stream sorry i don't know if it's called an atomic age this is beautiful i got a few of these and this one's amazing i love this one this one's absolutely beautiful right look at that phenomenal phenomenal very nice very nice and here's the back the beauty of these uh bags is you can see the back of the comic as well which is fantastic and i believe it should have something inside acid free paper on the inside so it prevents browning of the pages as much as possible anyway but beautiful right beautiful i'd like to collect comic books one day but at the moment i buy volumes and read the full story so i don't have the cluster um, I, yeah and the full stories are amazing really when you buy uh, graphic novels and you read the whole collection in one shot and then you know i have a few of these i have more as well where you get the whole story in one shot and you read it and you're done you put it away right instead of having to chase the single issues but collecting singles is fantastic as for these comics thank you very much you know who you are for sending this gift i appreciate it greatly really fantastic fantastic and you scared the crap out of me with including that thing in there <laughs> okay but i'm very happy that you got your hands on uh incredible hulk number one really fantastic congrats congrats one day i'm gonna add that to my collection as well right for now romance comics yes 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 like who would not love to have this on their wall look at that art look at that art beautiful 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 okay beautiful also chicho about two to three years ago you posted a video on tokyo ghost and that was the first ever graphic novel i ever got nice i hope you liked it so thank my pleasure i'm glad you liked it brilliant Re uh reminder uh, story great science fiction uh, depth to the story hardcore depth to the story fantastic read really fantastic read i'm glad you liked it i'm glad you liked it okay gang uh, aside from that i just want to share that with you because i i told the person as soon as i get it i'm going to make a video and uh, if my editing computer was working i would have made a video of this and then edited it and posted it up but it's not and the odds are we would have done a live stream anyway because a fantastic live stream surprise comic book gift like phenomenal right it was really interesting also the insane amount of adult content novel is insane yeah and that's the beauty of the comic code authority being knocked out right the comic code authority was one of the some people will say basically when the comic code authority came in superhero comics started picking up and horror comics romance comics uh science fiction comics started going down the uh they started losing popularity because they couldn't write what they wanted to write because of a censorship right 
So comical authority gave rise to the superhero industry really taking off and dominating, right? Now that the comic code authority nobody is really following it it's basically i don't know if it's dismantled or not but none of the independent publishers are going by the comic code authority marvel comics stopped doing them in the early 2000s i believe in dc in 2010 like crazy i think they were still doing comic code authority censorship until late 2000s right but we're seeing this is the golden age of entertainment really especially in the comic book medium because we're seeing huge number of stories that are being told that could not have been told and distributed with within the framework of specialty comic book retailers and magazine stands and all this jazz with the comic code authority with the censorship controlling the system right the next gn is going to get in uh, sky doll sky doll you're gonna love the artwork and the story is phenomenal although i read it online i really like the copy yeah for sure mark how are you doing metals how's life surprise comic book on or comic book gift okay care package that was sent romance comic should we look at it one more time one more time beautiful beautiful i've put the link in uh heavy books if you happen to start reading it i'm really curious what your take is okay fantastic thank you very much germany our love number 16 beautiful young love number 93 beautiful beautiful Time for love, number 28. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Young love, number 91. Phenomenal, look at that. That looks like a great quality book. What would you grade these? I would grade these, uh, they're high mid grade. Uh, anywhere between six to eight. I would grade these right just by looking at the covers six to eight eight and a half uh, maybe eight okay time for love number 30. i would have to look at them the actually higher like really there's the pages are a little bit browning they're not white they're off white so that kicks it down a little bit good thing i'm not a grader i give all these nine plus yeah, I wouldn't give them a 9 plus. Maybe a 9. Like, especially. Yeah, 8.5. Uh, if I flip through them, if it's a 9, it might be a 9. Right? And Teenage Love, number 88. fun fun okay gang i just wanted that quick share with you guys i was i was excited to get it i was very happy to get it and it's been a while uh, the person wanted to send these books a long time ago and i finally got my act together like a year and a bit later right do you shop online or local i shop uh, uh i do buy online as well through ebay mainly and I do go to my local comic book store. Uh, I have a pull list there, right? So uh, depending on my funds, I either increase the pull list or decrease the pull list. Hey, didn't expect this stream to, I, I wasn't expecting either, Casey. Just got a package from someone that wanted to send some comics my way as a, as a thank you for doing, doing this content. And we just cracked it open and went through them. What's on Chicho's pull list these days? Um, all of Valiant still. Um, I'm pulling Immortal Hulk, Venom. Uh, very cool, very cool. Six romance comics from 1972. All of them from 1972. 
I didn't check the month. Mate. They, I don't know if they're the same month. They can't. No, no, they can't be the same month because there's a couple of comics from the same series. So all of them from 1972. So I'm pulling all Valiants, uh, Immortal Hulk, uh, Venom. I'm going to add uh, House of X, uh, the X-Men books that came out. Okay. Uh, I'm going to most likely maybe uh, th no it depends on my budget I got I got a few other books that I'm pulling as well so I'm pulling all of the true believers I'm pulling all of the one dollar stuff that DC is starting to release and I'm pulling all of the I pulled all of the one dollar reprints from image and I think uh, some of the companies doing them as well so it's not very many right now I definitely have to reduce it a little bit because I got to get some funds together to do a system upgrade but we'll see where that stuff goes. Okay, uh, that's about it, gang. Uh, I'll probably announce. I'll load up this video probably on Tuesday, bitch at YouTube, and I'll probably announce the next set of live streams Tuesday, Wednesday, and I'll be not this weekend, but probably starting off next weekend. Have you checked out Reaver or Once and Future? Uh, no, a uh, Reaver I picked up. Reaver came out a while ago. Uh, Once and Future my comic shop didn't have it uh, they didn't order it so I wasn't able to pick it up uh, Reaver was it this it wasn't this week or this month I believe Reaver was a few months ago I picked up issue number one and maybe issue number two but uh, I didn't read it so I didn't add it to my pull list I pick up randoms I do scan issue number two came out this week okay so Reaver I probably picked up last week so what I do, uh, my, the way I do my comic stuff, when I buy from a local comic shop, uh, on Wednesdays, I go to my pull box and I see what I have, right? And then I go to the racks and I scan the racks and anything that catches my eye that I can afford in my budget, uh, I pick stuff up, right? So I pick stuff up and I try to remember to pick them up next month as well. And if I end up reading any of them that I pick up randomly that I like, I add them to my pull list. But because I'm reading a lot of the True Believer stuff and I'm pretty busy right now in the summertime, spending some time outdoors and stuff, I haven't been really reading the too many of the randoms uh, that I've been picking up. So my pull list is staying manageable, which is good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> which is good, <laughs> which is good. Okay, gang. Uh, Friday evening. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Okay, thanks for popping in. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the comic haul. I did. It was fantastic. More love romance comics. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and what I'll do, I'll have a nice weekend. You too, KC. You too. And I probably won't be around all weekend for just to chat with people and stuff on Discord. I'm just going to be uh, pretty busy this weekend. Okay, thanks for it. My pleasure, Nicholas. My pleasure. Good talking with you, Chicho. You as well, Mark. Have a great weekend, my friend. You guys as well. And uh, I'll be back online posting stuff, uh, putting up the schedule, uploading this video probably Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay, aside from that, peace. Salutations from the West Coast of Canada. I'll see you guys in the next stream. Bye, everyone. Have a good night. You too, Index. You too, Index. Nice to see you, brother. Nice to see you.